Hello, in this video, I'll be showing how you can easily edit this photo in Photoshop and how you can easily do skin retouching and color grading in Photoshop. If I told you to download this image for long, simply check the links in the description of this video. So, in order to download this image, you're going to be checking the link in the description of this video. So, in order to import the raw image, you're simply going to come and right click and come to open with Photoshop 2025. That is what I'm going to be using for this tutorial. But any Photoshop version can really work for this kind of portrait so in order to edit after opening up the raw image you can see it has automatically opened up the camera raw filter so in this i'm just going to be doing some tiny adjustments regarding lighting and contrast so I'll just take the highlight slightly down open up my shadows just a little bit and i'll take the white slightly down add a tiny bit of contrast and take the blacks down and slightly open up the exposure of this very image and after doing this, I'm just going to come and hit open in order to open the image into Photoshop for us to do the next adjustments like the skin retouching. So before retouching the image, we are first of all going to crop the image in a ratio of 45 or 8 by 10. So get the crop tool and choose a ratio of 45 or 8 by 10. And I'll just drag that up slightly, crop it in a little bit like that. And I'll hit enter or return in order to crop the image. So after cropping the image, next we just want to do the skin retouching. So in order to do the skin retouching, you are simply going to be using frequency separation for this kind of tutorial. And in order to use frequency separation, remember, we have to divide the image into the colors and the textures. So just come to the background image and press Ctrl J twice, or you can use Command J. Then double click on the layer name and name that to color. Then double click on this upper layer, name it to texture. And after renaming the layers, come and select the color layer and turn off the texture layer. You are simply going to come to filter, blur, come to Gaussian blur. Take the radius slider down and click on the skin area that has more skin texture. So about this area or the forehead area, we have more skin details. Left click on the radius slider and drag up as you are releasing so that you can see the effect in real time. So the point here is... We have to stop at the point where but we are just starting to lose out on the skin textures or the skin details. So just going to come and continue dragging it up. And you are going to stop at the point where by the details are just starting to disappear from the skin. So at about 7, that is when the textures are just starting to disappear from this kind of image. I'll click OK, select the texture layer, activate it. Then come to image, apply image. So the source is the name of the image layer select color the channel has to be rgb blending has to be add the reason for choosing add is because we are editing a 16-bit image because we have 16 right here the scale is to offset zero and simply turn on the invert option and you can see textures on this gray layer so if i told you editing an 8-bit image this is what you have to do make sure the blending is set to subtract invert is not checked the scale is to offset 128 and you see these details on this gray layer. So ours is 16-bit. So I'll simply revert to 16-bit settings. And I'll click OK. Come to the blend option. Change it from normal. And change it to linear light. Select both layers by holding down Ctrl or Command. Then press Ctrl G. Or you can use Command G on the keyboard to group these layers. So after grouping them, open up the group by clicking on the drop-down arrow. And select the color layer. And after selecting the color layer, simply come and turn off the texture layer. The reason for this is because we want, first of all, blend the colors or the skin tones of the model so that they can blend better. And in that way, we are going to be having a smooth skin. So we have selected the color layer. Then you're going to come to the brushes, right click and get the mixer brush tool. And for every tool you select in Photoshop, the settings are always going to display above there. So make sure brush is selected and the brush hardness is set to soft round brush and hardness set to zero then the second option that is clean brush after each stroke is selected with a weight of nine percent load 75 mix at 90 flat hundred percent measure sample all as is not turned on and we just want to start blending on the skin so in order to blend simply increase on the size of the brush so you can reduce or increase on the size of the brush tool by using the box bracket keys on the keyboard so just want to blend the colors on the skin or skin tones of the model's face area so 
blend colors that are looking alike just like that and you can see i'm using a very small brush and other trick you have to use in this case make sure you don't zoom all the way in because when you do zoom all the way in you can't see where to blend and where not to blend so the point here is we just want to create even transitions between the skin tones or the skin color of our model so blend just like that so to blend you left click and hold down and you simply drag if at all you're using a mouse and you have to keep on playing around with different sizes of the mixer brush so you can and by the way as you're blending you have to follow the skin flow or how the skin is flowing on the model's face so that you can maintain the original shape on the face area so i'm just going to be painting just like that and you can see by just doing this you can see the skin is getting smooth but don't mind if at all it looks a little bit plastic because i'll be showing you why the skin is looking plastic so for this point we are just focusing more on the skin color or the skin tones of our model by simply blending using the mr brush tool so reduce on the size and work on the smaller areas so if an area is small you use a small size of the brush and if an area is big you use or use a slightly bigger brush to blend on that given area so i'll just be doing this for the rest of the skin area or the skin tones of our model or our subject and you can see by just doing this the skin looks smooth so when you come and turn on the texture layer, you can see the textures are still left intact in the image but we have just blended the skin color so just come and turn this off and you can continue blending the colors in the skin area so come to the neck area zoom out slightly to see the uneven tones in the neck area and continue blending on the neck area you can see i'm blending the highlights alone the mid tones alone and the shadows alone and where the colors are transitioning from one color to another i'm using a relatively small kind of brush to blend that given area so that every tone in the first area is blending well so the point here is we just want to create even skin tone transitions on the face of our subject and in that way it is going to be creating a smooth looking kind of skin for our model or for our subject so right now we are done blending on the face or on the skin area and you can see the before after before after before after so after doing this sometimes we may tend to accidentally miss out on some areas this is where you have to imply the second technique especially on the face area to have more perfect results so just come and get the lasso tool and make sure it is in new selection mode with a feathering of around 20 pixels and alias is selected zoom into the image by using ctrl plus on the keyboard and simply draw on the skin and the shape you have to draw has to keep away from the hair or even the eyebrows come to filter and come to blur and come to gaussian blur remember this time around the texture layer has been turned on and we are still selected on the color layer so just drag up the radius slider and stop at the point whereby you are having a perfect looking skin texture but the trick you have to use here remember the radius we use for african so was seven multiply that value by three and type in that value so seven by three is 21 so I'll just type in 21 and click ok so I'll just draw another shape in this area filter blur come to gaussian blur and if at all it is too much for your liking after applying it simply come and right click and come to fade gaussian blur and you can reduce on the opacity of that effect in a given area so i'll leave mine at 100 percent so this is what you have to do for those areas you feel did not blend quite well when you're trying to use uh, the mixer brush tool to blend the transition on the skin tone area of your model or of the subject that we are trying to edit in this kind of tutorial so when it comes to the nose area you can see i'm going to apply on the shadow area of the nose just like that and i'll keep on applying it don't apply it on the highlight area because sometimes it may tend to flatten the nose area so this is what we have in this case command minus to zoom out so i'll only apply the lasso tool technique on the face area so you can see before after before after 
Select the texture layer and simply come and get the clone stamp tool. Make sure the hardness is set to zero. Mode is normal, opacity 100%, flat 100%. Make sure align is checked and sample is set to current layer because blemishes are part of the currently selected layer. So to remove these pimples or blemishes, we reduce on the size of the clone stamp tool by using the bracket keys on the keyboard. Hold down the option key on the keyboard or hold down the alternate key on the keyboard and left click to sample clean skin. So alternate and left click, hold it down. Hold down the option key on the keyboard for Mac. Hold down the option key on the keyboard, left click to copy clean skin. While still holding down the option key on the keyboard and left click once again over the pimple or over the blemish to remove it. So you have to keep on doing this for majority of the pimples or majority of the blemishes in the image. So I'll be doing this for most of the blemishes in this very image. And you can see how perfect this kind of technique is because it doesn't leave those annoying traces from the areas where we clean up or clear the blemishes. So I'll just be doing this quick because I don't want the tutorial to be a really long one. So I'll just be removing all these imperfections quickly and easily so that we can proceed to the next step for the tutorial. So just remove all these blemishes on the nose area. So you can even come and identify some right there. So you have to keep on sampling on different areas of the pimples or blemishes because all these areas have varying colors in those particular areas. So you can see right now we are done editing and we have even skin or a smooth skin that has realistic textures. So after doing that, create a stamp visible layer by pressing Shift Option, Command E. Then for Mac, for Windows, the Shift Alternate Control E, and simply come to Select, come to Subject, and Photoshop is going to automatically select the subject for us. Then you're going to come and create a new empty layer, change its play mode from Normal to Color. Come and get the Brush Tool, so the Normal Brush Tool. And after getting the Normal Brush Tool, make sure the hardness of the brush is set to 0% and soft round brush is selected. The mode is set to normal or past in the flat 100%. We just want to sample a color on the model skin. So hold down the option key on the keyboard and simply sample a color that you want the rest of the skin to look like. And after sampling that color, hold down the option and left click to sample a color. So after choosing that color, you can paint over the rest of the image if at all you wish to. So I'll just choose a slightly warm color just like that and I'll paint over the rest of the image command minus so I'll just do this quick because I don't want the tutorial to be a long one as usual so I'll paint on each and every area that has or contains skin tone and don't mind if at all we make a mistake during the process because we can always correct or rectify that kind of error or that kind of mistake on the skin so I'll zoom in. So this time around you can zoom in and paint to have a better looking kind of image. So I'll just paint just like that. And you can see right now the skin is getting to look or be even in this case. So don't mind if I told you make errors during the process because you can rectify or correct those area errors by simply getting the eraser tool. And the eraser tool, its work is to erase. So just come and get the eraser tool. Make sure the mode is set to brush. Or pass at 100%, flat 100%. And you can erase a mistake in a given area like around the eyes or everywhere you didn't want the effect to be. So I'll just paint in that area slightly. So right now we have painted on majority of the areas. But this tends to look a little bit unrealistic. So just come to the opacity of the layer and reduce on the opacity to your liking. So I feel like that is okay. You can say before, after, before, after. But when you feel like it is too saturated, you can always come and create a hue and saturation adjustment layer. Change it from master to simply reds and come to lightness and you can take the lightness down so that it can look a little bit more realistic. And you can simply come and add a selective color adjustment layer simply come and select the blacks and you can intensify the blacks in the image by turning up the blacks and taking up the sun slider higher so this is what we have been able to achieve by the color grading process and you can see how beautiful the image has gotten to be so in order to make the image better 
let's do eye whitening so just come create a hue and saturation adjustment layer come and make sure it is set to master take the saturation all the way down to around negative 77 press ctrl i or you can use command i on the keyboard to invert this layer mask then come to the brushes get the normal brush tool make sure you have black and white on these two color swatches or you can reset by left clicking on the tiny swatches make sure white is the foreground color and you can use the arrow key so with white as the foreground color we can now zoom in by using ctrl plus reduce on the size of the brush and simply paint on what is meant to be the white area of the eye just like that we are going to be able to whiten the eyes and you can do the same for the teeth if at all you want to do a little bit of the teeth uh, whitening command minus to zoom out and you can see that the image has been edited and color graded and if at all you want to get a more melanin kind of skin tone you can add one final black and white adjustment layer change the blend mode from normal to multiply and reduce on the opacity so that it can create this kind of melanin look on the skin tone of the image so you can see the overall before and after for the retouching color grading before after before after before after so this is how you can edit and in order to export the image simply come to file export and come to export as and it's going to open up the export as dialog box right here in photoshop make sure the format is set to jpeg quite to the maximum which is seven for this case the resample is set to by cubic sharper because you want a slightly sharp image during the saving process make sure convert srgb and embed color profile are checked click on export in order to export or save the image and you can save it in whatever location that you want so this is how you can easily edit a photo in photoshop from the start to the very end including skin retouching color grading and if at all you have enjoyed this video don't forget to like this video and don't forget to subscribe if at all you have been watching and you're not a subscriber to this channel ronix from ronix photography thank you for watching i'll see you in more videos on this channel don't forget to keep practicing and also keep creating